This video is sponsored by Big Boy Gaming. Follow the link in the description below for all of your card gaming needs. What's going on guys? This is Mike from Edison Club here with Yi Ching Lee, Mr. Jaden Yuki himself. And we have a top four uh, hero beat, right? Yeah. Deck profile by him. Uh, anything you'd like to say before we get started? Uh, well, first of all, uh, I went undefeated by the way. I, uh, yep, five gotta, gotta and point and that out. Yeah, I play a lot of Tango online. So I like, you know, I, I definitely know this format pretty well, and like the matchups were pretty smooth. You know, I figured it'd be a lot of like mirrors, agents, plants, and you know, the standard shit. And I played against one like weird deck, but it was, it was, you know, I only lost one game was to that, that Miss Valley deck to the bouncing Falcon guy. Yeah, Falcon Punch. Yeah, Falcon Punch. Yeah. But everything else was smooth. You know, I think you can go right into it. Okay. It's, it's pretty different. Let's take a look and see what you play. So like. Someone online, uh, called Jaina, so she made a version of the deck. I used to play like uh, more like beatdown. This version plays like something a little bit spicy. So we have Stratos, of course, and then uh, the two ultimates and the DC one. I mean, never, ever changed. Me. You're still on that. Yeah. We love it. Finally, we cannot play Ocean because the shiny is out in Tengu. I cannot play Ocean. I cannot play all that crappy whatever. So it's just four heroes. That's all you need. Uh, and then I played two Thunder King. This is like one of the like, strongholds of the format, obviously. It, just, it locks down the board. Uh, it's a light, which is really insane in this deck because you make shiny, you just, you just kill something, and later you miracle it away. So. I actually only played two uh, because I thought there was a lot of normal summons to play for three of this with like the other cards I play, and I'll get into it. Uh, and then for hand trap, like, two Grailer, two Maxi, two Grailer. Uh, I think in Tengu, you have to play some sort of form of hand trap because everyone plays Tori Guide. If you're not playing Torgai, you're probably not playing the right deck. Um, so, like, these are pretty good against Torgai. Uh, this is really good against, um, if you're ramming into Tengu, you get two draws, because you can, like, attack, attack, and they, there's mandatory, so they have to give you two cards. And this is really good against, uh, it's good against Torgai, but it's also, like, okay against, like, Hero in case you play, or even Veil Shadows. It's not, like, dead, like Maxi might be. So, like, I feel like this was pretty pretty well balanced, and, you know, their attributes are relevant, because you can Miracle away, like, a guy or Shiny, so this was pretty good. Um, honest because it's at one, and people just don't see it coming. They just they forget about the card because it's at one, and then they just hit them. And you can do this with like Thunder King as well, it's broken. Uh, and then I play three Tori Guy saying it. So this is like pretty different. So people never used to do this back in the day. Um, and Gemini beat whatever, 2011. So the reason I played this is because this is the one card Leviathan, so it gets over the cards that the deck has problems with, which is usually anything over 19, right? And um, this, this does that. It also lets you. Levy your back your dudes to get either a surge or a, a, another Gemini Star target after you miracle, which is insane. And this search is another version of itself, so you can just like just you can just chill. The maxi, you know, just chill it. It's fine. And then um, yeah, it's just like this is like the format basically. Like, tour guy, like they should just call it tour guy format. Like Tengu is not well as played as tour guy is. So. And it feels. This card. So you notice all you know, the like good ones, Alias, Thunder King, Veil, all all light. We're just missing darks. So as you play this bomb boss here, this card is insane. Uh, you just, it's like you're dro you're playing agent. You're just dropping big dudes. Like summon Tor guy. Warning, sure. Summon BLS. Another warning, okay. Um, miracle. Like, you just have like so many plays that you have like all these like broken cards. And then to kind of like help with that, I play Gores as well. This card also catches people off guard. Because they think my deck just plays a bunch of traps. And then I just hit him with Gores. And it's just like, shit, like you can't get over this. Like you have, you have Cyber Dragon. Sure, I just attack over Cyber Dragon. Or, I, I, I did a, um, I did a, uh, TG Hyper Librarian. He had like Librarian Bryonic. And he attacked with Librarian first without thinking like, well, he just dropped it. He just couldn't kill the token. And he just had to like bounce the Gores. And I was like, yeah, it's so good. Uh, so that's for monsters. It's pretty different. Spells are pretty standard. Just, you, you only three you call. Uh, three gem spark, three miracle, of course. Like now, there's no reason not to play miracle. Uh, three duality help make the deck consistent. Uh, with Thunder King running rampant, you have to be pretty careful with this. But like, it's just it's too good. You have to see your like, your your alias spark plays like all of like, the the consistency like that the deck needs as well. So we have uh, the broken Trinity finally. You know, there's a format where these are all legal, so you know, have to play these. And then. Two super powers. So this is a tech. And I decided on this. So this card is really powerful. I expect a lot of mirror matches, so this is obviously very good in mirror. You can make the shiny miss timing by uh, just you can play it, and like the summon of the, of the monster makes the shiny miss timing. 
and you can also just like clear boards. You can OTK them, like these are like Shadows alias, like, super probably. They already use warning in this game. Um, so they just like randomly OTKs them. Um, I actually didn't have Great Train or Nova Master today, and that cost me a game because I didn't have Nova Master. I couldn't probably away the, uh, the Miss Valley Falcon, but you know, I sh yeah, I, it's for that too. And then traps just six, just the best ones. Um, I'm not even playing torrential. I'm only playing one of this because when you like miracle away like your aliases, this is not going to be live as much. And it's pretty good at one. I think it's pretty clutch to just kill a thunder king or opposing alias. But I, I felt like one was fine. And this is very good to kill thunder king. And these are just, the, in my opinion, the best four traps for format. So and that was pretty standard. And this extra deck three is shining. Uh, I only need like one or two today, so I don't know if three comes up, but I had it just in case. Yeah, you might as well. Yeah, might as well. Uh, two out of zero, you don't need three now. I'm not playing D.Va. I think D.Va sucks. Uh, even in like Edison, but like, like, yeah, this does come up with my side deck. Uh, Gaia, I probably should have a double master a great turn. I didn't have them. Sh they should be in here. Uh, and then for the, the seeds, so these are like the only good ones. I think Granosaurus might be legal, but that's just not relevant. Um, this is very relevant against agents. This is a light, and it protects you when your life points are low. And then these are like the only like good toy guy targets. I, I, again, I don't think Granosaurus is very good, but it's even better. Well, I made this today. Uh, I actually used Sangan, Snowman, and then the Reborn uh, Dragoon Tuner to make this against the Miss Valley matchup. And I just, yeah, it's just insane. Uh, this is a five, this is a four. Uh, I probably shouldn't have been playing these. This should just be um, Great Tornado and Nova Master. The rest of the extra deck isn't super fun, I would say. Uh, the side deck, there's a couple of cool things. Uh, this is for like Dragoonity. Um, I, I, depending on like how the plant matchup was, I might put this in, but it's usually just like Dragoonity. Uh, two prisons for anything stun based, like a mirror match. Um, TG is very good. Um, yeah, then didn't play TG today though. Three MSD, this is, I should have just decided uh, two. This would probably be Decree, um, but along with these. So this wasn't very good because I played something else that was better than this. This just kind of gets run over by everything because like everyone has Thunder King, everyone has like the like this twelve is not like a really big barrier in this format. Uh, this is very good. This is for the mirror. It's for any stun matchup, obviously. Just a water for Ab Zero and just clears the way. The third maxi. This is for um, exclusively agents and like any kind of like super high roll. Like I don't even know. Like all the crazy combo decks that people come up with. But I wouldn't put this in against like plants because plants, the, the big problem with plants is that they can just beat you down with Tangus and Thunder King, but you don't want to have a bunch of hand traps in your hand. So with the two Veilo 2 Max E main, there's just fine. This is for agents. Uh, you have like four solemn warnings, it just it stops Blacklist Soldier, uh, Hyperion. Uh, if you have like Alias, and you go uh, Venus, you can just black horn the Gachi, and now they can't get over there to do it. So like, you, you basically like pretty good against, against that too. And like if they try to synchro. And then. I don't know why people don't play this. <laughs> like, this is at three in this format. And against like any high roll deck going second, you just like, you had this, this is the game. Like against like Fable, you went like, pitch to special, like you activated the guy in grave, just, like you, just, you lose. You have no ounce to this, like you just, like it covers like so many, like 50% of the map basically. Um, I don't put it, I don't put it in against plants because again, they have traps, they have like big monsters as well. But it, again, just for like all the high roll decks, cause this was like a, the first like real Tango tournament, I didn't know what people were gonna bring. I wanted to have my bases covered for like some crazy shit, like somebody just created some kind of combo synchro deck, so I don't know. Yeah, that definitely makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Okay, man. Well, congratulations, and thanks for sitting down here with me today, and I'm sure we'll see more of you soon. All right, thank you. This is Mike from the Edison Club, signing out.